Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is some mysterious TeamViewer-related hacks. If you haven't heard of TeamViewer, it's a remote desktop program that allows you to basically control your PC or a desktop remotely from anywhere in the world. And they advertise it as something that works even through firewalls. In any case, there's some mysterious hacks going on associated with TeamViewer. On Reddit, a number of users are reporting that attackers are using TeamViewer to take control of their computer. And these hackers then use those computers to do things like log into eBay or PayPal and steal money through those online resources. And again, a number of users have repeatedly mentioned that this is possible. Now, TeamViewer has released a response to this. In fact, they seem to have post-dated the release a week earlier than today. In any case, they claim that they have not been hacked or there's no incident allowing attackers access to your team viewer. They suggest that this may be something related to credentials. Maybe one of the big password leaks that I've been talking about lately allowed bad guys to get credentials they're using to log on to team viewer. That said, some of the Reddit users disagree with this. Some of the users claim that they're using unique team viewer passwords, and some even claim they have two-factor authentication enabled, and yet people are still getting access to their team viewer desktop. So that might suggest there could be a vulnerability vulnerability in TeamViewer. Nonetheless, this is all guessing and conjecture so far. What we do know is a number of users are uh, reporting that attackers are taking advantage of their TeamViewer access somehow and gaining remote control of their PCs. Now, one other interesting fact, just recently TeamViewer suffered a network outage for about three hours. I think it started today at 7 o'clock PST time. And they claim that this outage was due to a DDoS attack. But with all these users reporting TeamViewer viewer hijacks and the fact that their network was down for a while, a lot of folks feel like something weird is going on. So what should you do about this? Well, obviously, if you're a team viewer user, you should look out for this. You might want to change your passwords. You might want to uh, enable two-factor authentication, even though one user claimed that that didn't help him. More importantly, you might consider disabling team viewer at least temporarily. In fact, if you're a WatchGuard customer that has our Firebox with the security suite, you can use application control to help you. You might not officially support TeamViewer in your organization, but maybe some folks are using it without you knowing about it, something known as shadow IT. With application control, you can actually detect TeamViewer and you have the option to block it or throttle it or just monitor when folks are using it. In any case, it might be a good temporary mitigation to totally block TeamViewer from entering your network until uh, we figure out what this particular attack is. In any case, a very interesting story. If we learn of any updates that show how these attackers gained access to hijack all these TeamViewer users, we'll be sure to update you. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.